Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is to share with you all three tips on how to write an engaging business plan. So the way the video is going to play out is first and foremost, going to go ahead and give you a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do and why I do it. And after that, we'll talk about three tips to write in an engaging business plan. As promised, a little bit about me. Uh, again, Paul Borowski, doctoral candidate, MBA, as well as owner of Quality Business Plan and Quality Business Consultant. I am a professional writer, specifically a business plan writer. So if you all want to avoid all the fun and excitement, trials and tribulations, growth opportunities of writing your own business plan, feel free to pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. My contact information is right here. I would be delighted to write a business plan for you. I am also a published author on Amazon.com. Check out some of my books there. They're focused on business plan writing as well as understanding financial statements. And then finally, I am an adjunct professor and subject matter expert in both business and finance. So if you do need some help with those pesky financial projections, business plans ready to go, but those numbers are keeping you up at night, I'd be delighted to do your financial projections for you. Again, pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Be delighted to help. And enough about me, let's go ahead and talk about the topic of the day, which is writing an engaging business plan. So when you are writing a business plan, for your company summary, make sure to keep it succinct. Don't write more than about 100 to 150 words when you are describing your business. Keep it short, keep it sweet to the point. Most readers, especially underwriters, they look at one to 200 business plans a month or even a week, and they wanna be able to clearly understand what your business is very quickly. So when you're writing that company description section, keep it short, keep it sweet to the point, and in your summary section, make sure it's about 100 to 150 words and stay focused on the business. Don't worry about the historical aspects of how it was started and how you got with your brother and your sister and the family got together and come up with an idea. Just stay focused and to the point. I can't tell you how many times a business plan is kicked out and clients are coming to me to revise it because it's not clear as to what the company does. All right, let's go ahead and move on to step number two or tip number two. Tip number two for an engaging business plan is to use visuals. When you are, when somebody opens up your file or when somebody looks at your business plan, on the front of it, you should have your logo. That should be an immediate attention getter. And then once people are looking through the business plan, business plans are typically dry, they're boring, and sometimes it can be a little bit redundant, but the, there's a lot of words, and a lot of wording in there, a lot of sentences, a lot of paragraphs, and you want to break that up. And, and you can break that up in a, in a few different ways. First, you can put it into a well-structured format, and w in those formats, it's going to help break up the monotony. But also, a great way to do it is going to be visuals. Use your charts. You know, show you know your revenues growing over the next three to five years. Use some um, graphs. U use a pie chart to show how you're going to break up your startup costs. Use your smart art and in the smart art it's a great opportunity to be able to put that into a SWOT analysis so these visuals are going to not only and keep the reader engaged but it's also going to help to break up the monotony of all the writing that needs to be done to fully explain the internal and external aspects of your business all right let's go ahead and move on to tip number three and for tip number three for writing an engaging business plan is to tell a story. Business plans, like I said, they're monotonous, they're boring, they're dry. I know I write them all the time. However, you can keep a reader engaged by telling a story. For example, when I write my business plans the way that I structure my plans, I will start with a company description explaining the company in an over broad aspect in, in broad terms. From there, then I'll go ahead and tie into the services. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and introduce some industry analysis. Then we'll move maybe into the SWOT analysis and then you know show some marketing sections. And then finally, we'll maybe move into the financial projections. And then at the end of the day, what we'll be doing is we'll be talking about how much money is needed in order to make all of this, um, all the business 
projections and discussions come to pass. So when, when you're doing the business plan, you know, especially in the executive summary, tell a story, keep it short, keep it sweet to the point in the executive summary, but throughout the whole business plan, follow a logical structure and an understandable structure. Don't start off with your financials and then get into your company description because the, the reader is going to be lost. They're not going to understand where these numbers are coming from without fully understanding the business. So keep it focused, keep it to the, um, keep the, tell the story and keep it in a logical and understandable pattern when, when you're describing your business one. All right, hopefully this information was helpful. So let's go ahead and wrap it up and sum it up. Hopefully this little tip and trick was helpful for y'all. So in summary, if y'all need some help with a business plan, please feel free to reach out and give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. My contact information is right here. Some of the services that I do offer is, what, the main service that I offer is custom business plan writing. So if you want a, a custom business plan written for your organization, again, feel free to reach out, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, and my prices link for custom business plans is right here. I also offer business plan templates. I've got over 100 business plan templates that are ready for y'all to purchase. And each template is focused on a specific industry. A third service that I provide is financial projections. Maybe you've already written your business plan, but those pesky numbers, are you tripping you up? I do provide financial projections only as a service and the, the information for that service can be found right here. And then finally, I do offer strategic planning and also mentoring. A strategic plan, your business plan is like your road, is like your vehicle. It's going to tell the reader what you do and how you do it, where you do it, why you do it, and when you do it. Your strategic plan is like your roadmap to success. That's going to tell the reader where you're going to be in three months and six months and three years and five years. So I do offer strategic planning um, services as well as mentoring services. All right. Hopefully this information was helpful. As always, have a great day and go out and make a little bit of money.